Good afternoon. We're back again. Now we're back with a name that is familiar. <laughs> oh, literally to every household. Mm. Um, it causes some controversy this label, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, call him black label, eh? Mm. Right. Okay. Not good. Is your glass? Because the wife used to love a bit of Carlin. That was Will Carlin, by the way. For those of you that know. See? No. <laughs> right. Um, Carlin Premier. Um, going back to the um, late 90s. I remember personally, mm. if you found Carlin Premier in a pub, you were absolutely buzzing because it was quality. It and was it was. Good. It was good for the time, wasn't it? Yeah, for the, for the time, yeah. 25 <laughs> years ago, maybe now, but it was absolutely brilliant, you know, and we loved it. You know, if you went into a place and say, it had I Carlin just Premier. remember it. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, wow, Carlin Premier, mate. And you used to get hammered on it, really and truly. Mm. It was so much better than the standard Carlin, and also at the time people forget a lot of their standard offerings. Yep, 25 years later things have moved on, but we've already sampled a couple of these, haven't we? So, we're going to show you what it does, and this yep. one is Nitro Poured, Nitrogen Activated Premium Lager. Yeah, hopefully it don't bubble up and I look like a Wally. <laughs> and it was 4.7%, I do believe, ABV. I always thought it was 4.9. Yeah, where did we get these from? Uh, these came from Home Bargains. That's right, that's £3.74 for a pack of four. Ooh, okay. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look. As I say, I can't do the candle on because it's both two-sided. Yeah. I always think we used to have Carlin, Premier, Caffrey's. was another one that just went missing. That, you know, had that, that premium flavour. Handsome. Yeah, it does. It's looking good. <laughs> Look at that. You can see. I'll take these up to the camera. Yeah, Try not to take over the dog because I do so. Easy um, way, but we'll there we go. That's your can. Oh, there's a lovely creamy head on this. Nice golden amber colour. Yeah, and look at that. Here we are holding up a can of coal in. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's lucky. let me take your picture. Yeah, it's lucky we still got that because that's been through the dishwasher so many times. Yeah, it was just one that um, was acquired from the pub, wasn't it? It wasn't me. <laughs> no, it wasn't me either. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, I've got to concentrate. That's it, it's really hard to kill it because of the thing, but it looks all right. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Okay. Let's turn it back round. And as I say, yeah. I've seen already uh, on social media recently, <laughs> people panning this drink. Well, yeah, that's your prerogative, I suppose. Uh, it scored 1.8 on beer alcohol. Ooh. Ooh, like, yeah, it, smelled, it, it smells <laughs> creamy, a bit, of, yeah. a bit of citrus, a bit of There's something. a bit of citrus, there's some malt there, there's some hops there. There's a bit of this. Mm. That head looks so creamy. Yeah. It's better than a sta standard. Bog standard lager. That's smelling, smelling good. Man, we're going to get in trouble. We're going to get known as the Carlin crew at this okay. rate. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Burton on Trent. Yep, they delivered. Yeah, straight away, the, the creaminess that you don't get in the standard Carlin. You've got your malts, and it. You've got a really light carbonation. The it's burst, smooth. It, the burst onto it is smooth, creamy, malty taste with a little bit of citrus, and it's finishing off quite hoppy at the end, um, which I think balances out the creaminess at the beginning. It's all right. Do you know what? I'm inclined to agree with him. I actually quite like this. I like the creamy smoothness of it. It is. This, I never thought, because I saw people here and there um, on beer groups with it, 
I never thought I'd be fortunate enough, it's a 440 mil can by the way, I never thought I'd be fortunate enough to ever taste it again. And if you taste something 25 years later, yeah, I mean, your taste buds change and everything. But I mean, we just reviewed Spatham. And I'm not a bit funny, but I'd take this. I, I really like Over that. the combination of um, textures. I like the combination of flavours. Um, yeah, this isn't bad at all. No. I, I don't mind that at all. We'd already, well, we'd already sampled a can each over the last week. It got a little bit of, it caused a little bit of a commotion in a couple of beer groups, but um, it's like, I'm sorry, I just have to be honest and touch, say exactly how I feel about a particular drink. This one for me is quite pleasant. There is nothing wrong with it. I know the stigma, stigma attached to um, Carlin. The brand, yeah. The brand. Um, but this particular drink, it's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. No. I, I, I like the way it's all balanced out, the flavours, the textures. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, as standard lagers go, it's better. It's, it's not bad at all. It's not that expensive. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, 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 it's ticking a lot of boxes. You can't really go wrong, can you? No, I think, as I say, when you try something years later mm. your taste buds do change obviously as even as much as things we tried last year aren't the same but this i kind of i kind of missed you know something like um Cronenberg blanc mm. i was going to buy some of them but she had a spastic because it was worked out at seven pound a pint to get some bottles from france didn't it? or eight pounds a that's pint that's expensive nostalgia so she had a, she had <laughs> a like, no, that's too much i brought the glasses as well <laughs> still got them inside for that you know and I, um, I, yeah, maybe at some point we'll be able to get hold of it reasonably priced, but not for that money. Then no one knows, you know, we can get it. <laughs> yeah, Just please let me know if I'm dying to try it. Try that. it again, yeah. But yeah, this for me is a yes all day long. Yeah, it's, I'm giving this a yes and I'm giving it a 7.5. It's yeah, a little I'll bit above average. It is a good strong 7 for me. It's, yeah, it's just. It's, Fine, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's um, hard, it's a hard one, this because you know everyone's yeah, panning everyone's it. Yeah, everyone's gonna pan it, but in my personal opinion, that's more than drinkable, it's a reasonable and in price. My humble opinion, I've just sorry, I like it. It's just yeah. like I'll go <laughs> spat and six, I've got Carlin seven, so that tells you everything, doesn't it? I'll probably lose every subscriber we've got now, but <laughs> there you go. Um, we always said it's good to be honest and that and before we did this review as I say we put a couple up in beer groups and they got pounded a little bit yeah but I don't know it's all right you know and yeah. anyone my sort of age I won't mention my major on my <laughs> mostly you know <laughs> if you go back to the back to the late 90s it was a cracker of a drink yeah, it's nice, not bad too. and it's like yeah it's good I'm I'm taking in with it yeah so yeah, yeah I'm not gonna fault that one a yes and a seven and a seven point five. Yeah. So um like, subscribe and comment. Tell me, you know. Tell us what you think. Do you like it or do you like one of the haters? And I know there's a lot. But you know, it's all about opinion and if we all like the same beer as I always say. Life would be boring, wouldn't it? Well yeah, well we have to debate about it in beer groups. Exactly. I mean me and AJB arguing about Paul Anna. God. <laughs> I mean John Lennon's God, but Paul Anna, no way, Pedro. Right. I won't bore you anymore. If you've got a home bargains near you, yeah, give it a go. Give it a shot. I recommend it. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, people. Bonjour. Next time.